everyone, my name is Blackbridge Dyra. I am a Luciferian witch on the left hand path and an occult educator. Welcome back to my channel. I am looking slightly like a drowned rat because I just got back from doing a ritual outside and just as I finished it started pissing down with rain. So that is going to be the topic of today's video. I am going to show you what I filmed uh, doing a ritual outside with belly owl and the reason i wanted to do this ritual was because first of all i wanted to do it out in nature in the elements because i feel like my practice has lacked that for a little while um you know mostly working indoors and i thought it would just be nice to start working outside again a bit more so that was one reason I also had a certain um, goal that I wanted to work on with Belial around letting go of fears and limitations so that was very much the focus of the ritual and so yeah I thought what better way to do it than work literally in the elements and with the earth to do this. But before I show you all of that, I just want to make a few announcements. So first of all, my workshop program, the workshop for October is going to be on spiritual warfare. I cannot get over how my hair looks right now, but we are just going to go with it. So October's workshop is going to be on spiritual warfare. So everything that that entails in terms of protection and all of the forms that that comes in, warding, defensive magic, banishings, bindings and all of that stuff. So um, I'm going to post a little bit more information on that in the coming days but I just thought I'd announce it in this video as well. And of course as an occult educator I have a range of courses and learning programs available all of which are linked in the description. I have courses on working with Santa Mate that comes in a part one and part two. I have a course on baneful magic, everything you need to know, how to have a functional and safe and effective baneful magic practice. I am also the co-founder of Witch Skills. Now the soft launch for Witch Skills has now closed. So those who are interested are going to have to wait until we officially launch everything and that everything's ready. But in the meantime, if you are still interested in receiving some occult education of the highest standard, please consider subscribing to the mailing list so that you are staying updated. So that is all from present Dyra. I'm going to hand you over to past Dyra now to walk you through uh, what I got up to today. So I'm going to kind of end this video like a few minutes into the video. Um, so in advance, thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you enjoyed this video and of course i will see you in the next video goodbye for now so i am on my way to go and find if i don't fall arse over tit in mud um a spot to go and do my ritual i also don't know how good my audio is gonna be ow just walk through some stinging nettles don't know how good my audio is gonna be because of the wind like i'm about to walk out more into the yeah, there we go here's the wind so um yeah i don't know how i don't know how good my audio is going to be throughout this because of the wind uh but you know i'll try my best not an awful lot i can do so it seems to be an ideal day for this it's not pissing down with rain despite it being october i'm actually boiling really hot today considering it's October so I am sweating right now I'm currently trying to find somewhere I'm not going to be obviously seen uh, doesn't seem to be anyone around today which is great um, I think I've seen three people and I've been walking for about half an hour so so hopefully I'm going to be able to find somewhere secluded enough to get started. Check this out guys, I've just found a dead thing. 
it kind of stinks as dead things do but uh yeah i think i think this is a rabbit because he can see his feet so I, I walked past it i was like are those twigs or what but no it, it, it stinks it's, <laughs> it's definitely a dead thing so yeah, I might, uh, I might have to come back for this later. So I just saw a little rabbit go down here. I was considering finding somewhere down here, but uh, there's a tent somewhere over there and I can also smell weed. So yeah, probably not, not the best place. So I was considering this little space down here next to the water, but it is right next to <laughs> a public footpath and someone could walk past at any second so I do not want that to happen so I finally found a spot not as concealed or in the woods as I would have liked it to have been but I'm in long grass so that's gonna have to be enough um, I haven't seen anyone walk by in probably like a good half an hour it's taken me like an hour to find find a spot so that took longer than i would have liked but we are pretty much good to go now so i'm facing north seeing as that is belial's corresponding direction as he is on earth have my ritual knife with me For consecration for my frankincense resin incense which somehow has fallen out in my bag with some charcoal as well for a few black candles now I have a feeling the candles are going to be a real pain because I'm in long grass and there's like random gusts of wind so I don't know how much I can rely on these staying alight throughout but let's see how we get on this is not going to be an extravagant ritual at all. Just keeping it really simple. It doesn't have to look like anything special for it to be effective. The uh, traffic noise also is not not that ideal. working with what we got here. So what I'm doing now is trying to place a candle at each kind of cardinal direction. Trying to make it stable enough to actually go into the into the earth. I keep fucking snapping them so it's lucky I bought spares. I only have <laughs> I only have one spare left to use now so I try not to break it, Dara. So the way in which I've planned this ritual out is I will be invoking Belial, putting my petition forward, and also going into state and creating a sigil based on the intention of this ritual. Now unfortunately I can't move my camera down any further for you to get a better view of what I'm doing because otherwise the camera just kind of drops like that. So I'm going to start by lighting the eastern candle 
followed by the sail, the west, and finally the north. Now, while it's difficult to make these candles actually stay alight, I have done rituals outside in worse conditions, so yeah, it could definitely be worse. Okay, my candles are lit. Also, don't do what I do and light these with your bare hands. I'm not smart. Okay, there's somebody walking past, which is um, unexpected and really did not want this to happen. Are they looking? I can't tell if they're looking. Oh, brilliant. He's minding his own business. We're good. I don't think he's even seen me, to be honest. Brilliant. I heard him cough and I was like, fuck. So. Thank <laughs> you. 
we are ruled of all by releasing the hills and limitations that bind me so that I may be liberated from the chains of slavery for the path to my true will by the power of Kimbellion. I am strong in mind, self, and will.